Hello guys and welcome to Patrick Lush. Today we have a very special car, this Audi A8. And we will take a look at this beautiful exterior, but more importantly, the interior, especially in the back, because this car is extremely luxurious. So, let's go. So let's start off with the front of the car because it has a very large grille, new front bumpers and these very cool LED adaptive headlights. In the middle of course the iconic Audi emblem and right next to it the Quattro emblem. And beneath here in the middle we can see this closed up and this is where all these sensors are for, for example the adaptive cruise control. And this brings us to the side of the car, but let's start off with the hood. First of all, you can see this line going from here all the way to the center of the car. And it's a fairly long hood, but it's also belonging to a fairly long car. So as you might know, this car is to be driven by a driver. That's why you can also see that the front doors are noticeably smaller than the rear doors because there is of course extra space here in the back because that's where you will be sitting most of the time furthermore it has some lines going from the back here all the way to the front notable lines adding to the aesthetic design of this car and the wheels are both 20 inch in the back and in the front but in the back they are slightly wider since they are here 255 40 20 inch and in the front they are 225 40 20 inch but that takes us to the rear of the car and as you can see it's a very wide rear and it has these very cool tail lights with this light beam going from one side all the way to the other which is fairly new to Audi and here at the bottom we can see that they kind of try to mimic exhaust pipes but the real exhaust are underneath the vehicle itself. It also has a 360 degrees camera system with a camera here at the back, here underneath the side mirrors and of course one hidden here underneath the Audi logo. So let's take a look at the trunk space that this car offers. Simply open it up with for example the key and we can see a very decent amount of cargo space. We can also pull up this lever to reveal a little bit of extra storage space. So let's close the trunk. Because it's electric, simply press this button to close up the trunk. Yes. So now let's have a look at the interior of the car. Let's go. First of all, we can see a huge door with only the best materials, a very soft fabric over here, combined with the wooden trim around here, and of course, the leather adding to the quality of this car. It does have some plastic over here but in my opinion, the combination of all these different types of materials is very neat. So let's get in. As you can see, it has soft closing doors. So all you need to do is just close it slightly and the car pulls it towards itself. Now inside the Audi A8 we can see a huge set of screens both here and underneath and of course in the middle as well. A very nice steering wheel nicely stitched on the inside very luxurious. The keys are over here this one has three sets of keys 
all a little bit different. These two simply have a different glossy trim around the buttons. And then we have this key to control the car. So let's start the electronics so we can at least see what these screens look like. Beautiful, a nice button for the music, for the entertainment system. What is really cool about Audi is this navigation you have here in front. Simply look at this exactly how you would want it. With the kilometers an hour on the right, the rounds per minute on the left, and the, the rest is simply navigation. Now, here in the middle, we have Audi Drive Select, Efficient Assistant, your seating options, your air conditioning, pretty much everything, lights, uh, parking, assist, everything but in German, of course. So let's go to Sitze, which is basically your seat and Umschaltung, blah, blah, blah. Okay, verstanden. So, hey, that's really cool. You can actually change your seat with these buttons over here. But of course, also with these buttons here at the side, which is slightly easier than going to all these settings. Now, let's go back climate control, parking help, lights, uh, which is for example the ambient lighting and you can see the brightness, the ambient lighting all around the interior, even here at the bottom and at the back of the seats as well. Beautiful. Of course in many different colors you can change the brightness as well, solar, impulse, very cool. Let's go to navigation and you get to see the navigation as well. Underneath here, camera options, parking and camera options. When you press it, you can see around the car, which is cool. Here's the 360 camera. Uh, where you can simply have a look around the car you can have the 3d view so right now it's trying to create a 3d look of the car and you can simply have a look around your audi a8 which is very cool to see if you are parked correctly and it's very nice to see these corners so you don't hit anything you can also have a view from the top, such as this. Now this is from the rear, side, and all the side. That's pretty cool. So let's close this up. And you can simply enter everything you want. So let's get back to the steering wheel. And you have all the buttons here. You can change the view, as you can see when you press it. Now it has a slightly smaller navigation and way larger speedometer and RPM. Let's press it again and it goes smaller. Easy to control. Zoom out, zoom in. And a button to show whatever you want. But I will leave it at Karte, which means map. Cool. Now you can go left and right to change what you want to see. But let's leave it at navigation for now. Now here in the middle, like we are used to with Audi, a very huge knob to control if you have it in drive, reverse or neutral. Simply push and pull. Some extra storage space over here. Oh, this is very neat. You can actually lift this up to reveal a little bit of storage space. Uh, this is actually 
a wireless charger for your phone. Here you have a SIM card slot, so you can have Wi-Fi wi in your car, SD card slot, and two USB slots as well. So let's close this, and you can also put it forward, as you can see, to rest your arm a little bit better. Let's put everything back in place. So guys, that was the front of this car, but of course, like I said at the start, it's all about the back of these cars, and I will let you in on a little secret. When we have a little look, we can already see wine on a table there at the back. So let's go and have a look. So let's take a look at these back seats. But first, let me take off my shoes before getting in. And this car has soft closing doors. So you only need to close them slightly and the car will pull the rest by itself. So sitting in the back we already have the wine ready on this nice tablet and as you can see some very nice feature is that if the front seat is folded forward you actually have an extra seat for someone to sit across you. Some other very cool feature that I found is that this car actually has a normal outlet right here in the middle so you can charge your laptop but it also has a normal car charger as well with two very nice cup holders and here in the middle we have all the controls to control the seats in the back and of course the comfort that comes with it you can actually take out this little tablet right here and once you turn it on you can control the massage seats heated seats cooled seats and all the other things surrounding this car so here you can control everything about the seats you can press seats uh, you can press massage and simply choose what type of massage you want so let's go for this one and you can simply start it however you want it and then press start and you can feel it starting so let's go back to home you also have the rollers which is these of course and you can press on down which lowers them also at the back Letting some light into the car. If we press up, uh -oh, it closes everything, even the panoramic roof. <laughs> but let's open the panoramic roof. Nice. Very cool. Let's go back to start. You also have heated seats and ventilated seats. Pretty much everything you want. So guys, I hope you liked this review and if you did, please like and subscribe and I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.